Hello, everybody. It's Andre from Heroes World. And guess what? It's Tuesday. So that means it's What's New at Heroes World. So welcome and thank you for tuning in and joining me in the show where I give you a brief look at some of the cool and new items that we get in the store on a weekly basis. Now, this is definitely not everything that we get because, as you can probably see, I'm not in the store, so I cannot bring boxes of all the new stuff home with me to do these videos, but I do bring a selection of the new comic books, graphic novels, if there's new card games or board games or action figures, just about anything cool that's new and showing up in the shop. I'm going to bring it in and kind of give you my top picks of what goes, what comes in so you guys can come and check it out. So why do I do this on Tuesday nights? Well, comic book day is Wednesday. That's the new release day. And therefore, we get most of our stuff on Tuesday nights. But we also get new products on different days of the week that have different release dates. So for example, Games Workshop product usually comes to us on Fridays. So we get it for Saturday release date. So that gives me time to bring it, learn about it, talk to you about it here. So without further ado, let's get into some of the new comics that are out this week. And I'm sporting my Batman t-shirt because this is another really big week for the Dark Knight. A lot of great books are new for him. And we got some stuff in the restock section for Batman. And I'm going to go over those too. So sit back, relax, and hopefully you will find something that you like. As always, if you do, comment or reach out to us on any of our social medias or here in this post. If you want to pick something up, that's why we do this. So you have an idea of what's new at the shop. All right. First up, we have got Tech on Avengers. This is the brand new Marvel book. And we got some really exciting uh, news for this one. It is written by a friend of the store, Jim Zub, local boy, doing the art, bringing you this tale about the Avengers. Now, why is it called Tech on Avengers? Well, the Red Skull does something to limit and mitigate the powers of the Avengers. And Tony Stark steps up, building them all new power suits to make up for their lost powers. Great kinetic art by uh, Jeffrey Chumba Cruz, I think is his first name, but uh, also known as Chumba. And it's a bright, colorful book. This is a book that I would recommend for all ages. So if you've got little people or you've got people just getting into comics, this is going to be one of those big bombastic battles. Uh, and I really recommend this book. So that is Tech on Avengers number one. All right, next up from Batman, as I mentioned, look at this beauty. This is Batman 89, and it is not a movie adaptation of that amazing movie from Batman 1989. This is a story that continues from it. Look at that beautiful cover. Such a monumental movie, so much impact in the for, for Batman and superhero movies and cinema. Uh, so this comic looks great. This is one of the interior pages. So yeah, you definitely want to check that out if you are a Batman fan. And this is going to be a six-issue limited series. So hopefully that puts that book on your radar. Next up, again, from Batman, this is Detective Comics number 1041. Now, if you've been tuning into... Uh, these little session, uh, sessions of mine, I am gushing over this series. It's been fantastic since the get-go, and this is the start of a new story arc. Great covers, great interior art, great writing. I can't say enough about Batman Detective Comics. It is a real treat of a book, and we have all the issues in stock if you want to catch up on them. Like I said, I highly recommend this book, and I think you would actually really, really enjoy it. All right, next up, we have got Captain Marvel 31. Look at this beautiful variant cover. There's the regular cover. So Captain Marvel, pretty popular character. The comic does exceptionally well for us. Uh, and again, two stunning characters. Really cool book. You know, definitely think people should be checking it out. And if you're an old school comic fan, if you notice on that cover, they've got the icon boxes up again. So hopefully that is a new retro thing going on. You can see Ronan Accuser on that in that page. So yeah, cool book, cool character. Definitely want to check out Captain Marvel. 
All right, another book done by a great Canadian, and it's a great book. This is Daredevil number 33. Daredevil's just been literally on fire uh, with Elektra donning the red suit and kind of trying to cover for Matt Murdock while he's in prison. But yeah, super, super good book. Look at this page. Nothing better than, what's better than one bullseye? Multiple bullseyes. And Elektra's in a little bit of trouble. But I can't say enough about this book. And Chip Zdarsky's run's fantastic. Marco Cicchetto returns for the art chores. So this is a solid, solid book. If you want to catch up, we do have the trade paperbacks in stock. And that is issue 33. So there's about four, almost five trades or a couple hardcovers to get you up to speed on Daredevil. All right. New from DC Comics, it is the return of hardware in the Milestone universe. This is a new look at Milestone. Milestone being the imprint that came out uh, in the mid-90s, 91, 92, 93-ish. Uh, and it's been super, super cool. We have got Dennis Cowan and Bill Sankovich on this book. Uh, and it's super cool. You've heard me talk about Static Shock and Icon and Rocket in previous videos. Uh, so yeah, new superhero universe, but like a return. They came out before, and this is a modernization. So definitely put it on your radar. These are characters that you might not have uh, seen if you're new to comics, but they're very relevant in our political time right now. It's giving us a different view on heroes and stuff like that. So really, really dig that book. Speaking of different take on heroes, let's check out this I Am Batman number zero. So this is kind of the beginnings of the Lucius, not Lucius, it's Lucius Fox, uh, I think it's his uh, nephew who's taken on being Batman, and we're seeing the beginnings of this. So this happened after the effects of Future State, where Lucius Fox takes over Wayne Enterprises, and we have a new Batman. Again, this has shall we say, repercussions, because that's why Batman goes underground in Detective Comics, but really, really cool, and it's a zero issue. It's going to be a six-issue limited series, and the big draw for this book is it is written by John Ridley, so this is a book that's been in the news a lot, so you want to put that on your radar. Check it out, either with us or at your local comic store, wherever you may be from. I'm sure they're going to carry that book. All right, we have got The Joker. This has been a super popular book. It is on issue six. James Tinian has been in the news quite often, and he's the main writer on not only Batman, but Joker. But if you've been following the news, he's going to be leaving uh, DC Comics, I think, in the next uh, couple months. I think he's writing Joker up to issue 11, and uh, Batman, he's going to finish the story arc. But lots of new things uh uh, in the works for him so hopefully that all works out but we're going to miss him on those bat titles all right so you have been watching or hopefully you've checked out the masters of the universe on netflix here's masters of the universe revelation number two but this is a prequel to what you saw on netflix so if you like that or if you like he-man and the masters of the universe definitely check that book out we just got a restock of issue number one so we've got both one and two waiting in the store for you all right and as you may know i'm a big fan of miles morales this is the fallout the aftermath of the clone saga um as you may know there was a couple clones of miles uh, and unfortunately uh i guess he kind of treated them like brothers but they they had to basically go to war and not all of them survived so kind of tragic end to that um but very very cool i think it's going to leave a lot of scars on miles and change his character um and we'll have to see if that's going to be for better or for worse but definitely a traumatic experience for our young spider-man all right and again following up on this batman theme it's a bat week we have got Pennyworth, and this is a limited series all about the young, dapper Alfred Pennyworth, and I think this is when he was an MI6 or British Secret Service spy type of guy, so I can't wait to read this one here. It's going to give us some background to that character, and it's been alluded to in many Batman books, so this is going to be kind of cool to see that in action. So hopefully you guys like Alfred, who doesn't, but now we're going to see him uh, when he's very young and doing spy stuff. This is how I guess he learns to help Bruce Wayne Batman. Next book. Man, sometimes it's really cool to be in this industry and have friends that are 
reaching new success. We talked about uh, Jim Zub on Avengers. And uh, this week, we've got Red Sonia, Black, White, and Red. And this book, it's an anthology book. And the cover and the first story are drawn, written and drawn by our good friend, John Boy Myers. John Boy Myers is a stellar artist, really great guy. Uh, he's really stepped up and helped us out over the pandemic. Like he helped out a lot of stores, uh, but you probably know his art, very kinetic, very vibrant. This one, he does a tale of Red Sonia feasting off on an army. Man, it was beautiful. The simple colors, the strong lines, a lot of uh, really cool battle scenes. Uh, so I can't wait to see more of his stuff. And you've probably seen that really wicked cover that he did for uh berserker the one that was signed by keanu reeves john boy did that cover and it was spectacular all right so next up let's jump into a galaxy far far away it is star wars this is a new series for the star wars high republic adventures it's the new number one and it's called the monster of temple peak so if you don't know what High Republic is, this takes place just before, maybe 100 or so years before what we saw in Phantom Menace. This is the high age of the Jedi. The Jedi are the peacekeepers in the, in the galaxy, and there are no Sith that we know of at this particular time, so they face off against other threats been a great series there's been lots of buzz because they not only do comic books but there's novels uh there is video games planned this high republic is a big big multimedia thing and it comics have been doing really well for us like I said graphic novels all kinds of cool stuff so that is the look at the comic books that we've got in now let's take a look at some of the cool restocks that we got in for trade paperbacks and art books. All right. So again, this is this is a dark night. This is a Batman night because we got so many cool Batman stuff in. We got the hardcover of The Batman Who Laughs. This is Scott Snyder with amazing art by Jock. And hey, if you want to know about this tyrannical, crazy Batman, this is the book to read. Very, very good. It led right into the DC Dark Knights Death Metal series. Uh, so yeah, just a fantastic villain that uh, really took everybody by storm. So it was a fantastic book. If you haven't read it, highly recommend it. Next up, we have got the complete edition of the Doomsday Clock. Doomsday Clock brought to us by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. And does it look very Watchmen-like to you? Definitely, because this is a kind of uh, sequel that follows up the Watchmen in which we see a little bit of spoilers, some of the characters from the Watchmen universe ending up in the DC universe proper. Very, very heavy Watchmen vibe, the art style, the panel style. Great series, definitely a better read to read it all collected in one volume. So I highly recommend the DC's Doomsday Clock. And that's a restock. It came out in first two hardcovers. Then it came out in the one book, and we just got it back in. So really, really cool. Speaking of just getting something back in, this is a book that every Batman fan should own at least one copy of. This is The Killing Joke, the deluxe edition. Uh, and I would say it's probably the ultimate Joker story. Um, it just really really set the Joker apart. This is Alan Moore and Brian Boland's big, big story. Uh, it's been adapted for movies. It's influenced so much storytelling. It's fantastic. And it led to, again, a kind of modern, modern um, version of, I, I don't want to say direct sequel, but very heavily influenced. Again, the art style, the page layouts, just the feel of this book. This is the Batman, the three Jokers. And again, this is Jeff Johns with Jason Fabach on the art. Uh, yeah, this, uh, this book was three initial volumes and then uh, put all together in this one hardcover. Uh, and wow, wow, it is, it is uh, definitely something else. It's DC's black label. Uh, so it is probably a little bit more violent and a little bit more, um, shall we say, adult oriented than your regular stuff. But it kind of needs to be because this is this is Batman almost while well, he's trying to stop the Red Hood from getting revenge on the Joker for what happened to him. And, you know, Red Hood was uh, the Robin that the Joker beat uh, to death. Uh, so anyways, very, very cool issue. Very strong emotionally great art uh super super cool book highly recommend it 
All right, last but certainly not least on the graphic novel front, this is, again, another Black Label book. This one, though, is brand new, uh, and this is book one. This is The Last God, book one, uh, and it is thick. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this was a long series. Uh, it is kind of like your fantasy with a little bit of sci-fi uh, elements in it. Really, really cool art, great story, uh, and I hope they continue on with it because, uh, you know, you always want more different genres and different, uh, you know, coverage in, in comic land. Always want something new to try. So if you kind of like that Conan vibe or even like Cull and stuff like that, definitely want to check out The Last God. All right, so I've got one other book before I jump into my art books, and uh, this is a brand new one. This is great for all ages, kids of all ages. This is the Supergirl Adventures, Supergirl, Girl of Steel, uh, and it's a new printing of this book, and it is fantastic. Not only is Supergirl in there, you're going to see Superman, you're going to see some of uh, Desaad, you're going to see Dark Side. Anyways, very, very cool book, a lot of fun, and as you can see, it is rated for everyone. So super cool. So hopefully you've got comic lovers of all kinds can find something that's come out this week at our store. So let's talk a little bit about my love of art books and all things film. Let's check out this bad boy. Look at this. Look at the size of this. This is Blade Runner Interlink, the art. So this is from the Blade Runner sequel 2049. This book came out a few months past. We just got them back in stock. I got to tell you, uh, you might have heard with the comic industry um, that... Uh, DC and now Marvel are doing some distribution through Penguin Random House and it disrupted kind of Diamond. But since we've been going with Penguin Random House, we get access to all kinds of things and their stock is very, very deep. So when they get cool things like this back in stock, uh, it's even easier for us to get. I love this movie and the art uh, stuff is just fantastic and it's a great look behind the scenes and where their visual uh, mindset was and to go with the art of here is the second book the storyboards so if you are a fan of sequential art look at this this is almost like how they originally sell the idea so the artists are oh man it's beautiful i gotta add these to my collection uh instantly this is the amazing book uh, the forward is by uh, Denis Villeneuve, uh, who was the director, and he's going to be doing the new Dune movie. So I'm sure there's going to be some art books and stuff for Dune coming out. And hopefully, uh, if you like a fan of behind the scenes stuff and whatnot, and you like sci-fi, you're going to check out that Dune movie. I'm really excited to see that. So that is books and everything. So let's move on to merchandise. I want to start with... We finally got in the first for us of the Bad Batch figures, and that figure is Crosshairs. So if you don't know what Bad Batch is, it's the new show following up on Star Wars Rebels, and this is the character called Crosshair. Crosshair was part of Clone Force 99, but uh, he basically followed orders to the T, and that caused a rift with his fellow clones and squad, and he became the antagonist in that series. So I don't want to spoil where that's gone. The Bad Batch just finished up 15 episodes for season one, so check that out. Really, really cool figure, and that's in the Star Wars Black 6-inch line. So that's one of the cool figures we got in. We got some other import figures in this week, but they were too big for me to kind of bring home. So hopefully I'll do some shots, uh, put those up on our social media and our website tomorrow. So. Look in the background. Look at that happy little minion. Who wants to hurt a minion? I think everybody has wanted to hurt a minion. And now you can with the brand new game called Exploding Minions. Have you heard that term before? Exploding? Yes, this is brought to you by the folks who made Exploding Kittens. And this is a card game where you do not want to be caught with the exploding card you want to be the last person standing a lot of fun uh the card game is super simple and as you can see on some of these cards you can see how cute the art is and stuff like that super easy to play we've got this game in stock and i think again this is going to be fun for everybody unlike exploding kittens where they had a adult version or a not safe for work edition 
um, you know, this one is fun for everybody. All right, so let us move into the realm of Warhammer and the collectible and paintable hobby miniature game. I'm going to start first with Age of Sigmar. We got in the new Age of Sigmar starter set. This is the one called the Warrior Starter Set, and it's pretty cool because they brought out a couple weeks ago, maybe a little bit longer now, the big Dominion starter box, and that was huge. But this, they've broken down the game into kind of two small squads, and look at that. That's the contents that you get there. This is to teach you the basics. So the box folds into that terrain. There's the map. You've got the dice. You've got about 10, I think about 10 to 12 figures in there, two different sides. You can learn the rules in this. And this box is inexpensive. It's only about $50. So it's a great way to check out if you like the game and get into the hobby. Age of Sigmar is basically their kind of fantasy style game. Their swords, sorcery, dragons, monsters, etc. And of course, the big brother to that is Warhammer 40,000. And we have got a huge release because the Sisters of Battle, also known as the Adeptus Soritas, had a lot of releases this past week. Let's start with the Combat Patrol. The Combat Patrol gives you basically exactly what it says. Combat Patrol, this is a unit that you would set out to basically, let's look for enemies. And it's a start of your army. You're going to get one troop choice. You're going to get a vehicle. You're going to get a fast attack. You're going to get a couple special characters. And that's the contents right there. Great value. Usually with these boxes, you're saving about 15% than buying all the models individually. Uh, and Sisters of Battle has been a very super popular army since they came out. And they basically redone the whole army right from the from the ground up and check out this tank this is the sisters of battle the castigator this is a backbone mega tank this is just awesome main cannons it's also got side sponsons look at this two different weapon options you've got different gunners games workshop makes some of the best kits around like it is just phenomenal uh so yeah it looks really really cool a lot of iconography if you're not familiar with the sisters of battle they are kind of the spiritual side of uh of this emperor of man mankind uh and they fight alongside of the space marines and the imperial guard and, and everything also from the imperial uh the Sisters of Battle, sorry, we had new special characters uh, brought out, and this is a two-pack featuring a standard bear and their, uh, I guess, kind of their assistant. Really, really cool. I love the detail that they put into these models here. Uh, you know, again, that standard is fantastic, and especially with the Sisters of Battle, they kind of have that aesthetic of... It looks like it's a fantasy model, but then they still impart some of that almost like steampunk flavor and that modern heavy armor and stuff. So super, super cool. 40K has always been a big part of our store, and they have so much cool stuff. There's almost about 20 different armies. So if you've ever been interested in the world of Warhammer 40K, you definitely want to come by, check it out. We can give you the lowdown on the game. And there's several different ways for you to get involved in it. So folks, there you have it. A brief look at just some of the great merchandise. As I said, this is not all. For New Comic Book Day, there is probably dozens more titles that have come in. We also got a big restock of image graphic novels in and there is definitely something for everyone at the shop. And I guarantee that. So thank you for joining me this evening and taking a look at what's new at Heroes World. As always, if you can, to show your support to us, hit that like button, that subscribe button. And remember to hit the bell to get notifications for when we go live or do other videos, and you know that we're bringing you a lot of different content, including the Heroes World podcast every Sunday, John and Company with The Sidekick Show, and that is Monday evenings. I'm doing this Tuesday nights. Wednesday, we've got a new show called The Heroes Word, where I talk to creators. In tomorrow's episode, I talk to friends of the store, George Todorowsky and Renee Vreens, and we talk about their brand new sci-fi book that is available at the store now. So you want to tune in for that, debuting tomorrow at 8 o'clock. 
Thursday. Join the crew as they say, hey, what I miss. Talking about all things in the media, movie reviews, comic news, all kinds of stuff. And Friday, this Friday, very special. We're starting our first Heroes World Book Club, and we are starting with the Thrawn Trilogy, Heir to the Empire Part 1. I've roped three friends into reading it with me, and we are going to discuss it in Part 1 of that. Saturdays, we don't have anything yet, but very soon. So keep it locked here, Heroes World Online. That's going to link you to our Instagram, our Facebook, our Twitch, this YouTube channel, everything and you can also find our website there so thank you very much for all the support please continue to like comment and share and we will do our best to get back to you and hopefully you've been enjoying this content enough so that you will tell a friend so thank you very much guys and have a great night